mentions of uh, for you to understand. So try, I think. Hopefully, some sometime next week, all of you will get to try. Right? Okay. So so far, um, last I mean, Monday, we uh, talked about the reduction um, of uh, illusion, how it's developed, and we know that it's developed. Um, around the area of uh, what called Windows Valley, um, uh, during the Windows uh, uh, separation, separations, uh, this has been for five thousand years of history. And it is general, uh, general information. Now today we talk about the aspect of the mind. Now, remember, uh, Hinduism is so unique that um, they have all kind of gods uh, depend upon the needs of each individual. And if they have gods and goddess, so they don't have uh, any specific um, god for everyone. This is dependent upon the needs of every individual. But um, regardless, of the god, the goddess, they worship. They constantly the one, the, the, the one that they worship as a supreme being. So um, here, uh, they worship many things, but only constantly the one, only one supreme being. And they cause the god and goddess are at equal. They don't say, okay, Shiva has more power than. Um, uh, then uh, Vishnu, for example. Okay. So let me uh, go briefly about uh, this uh, kind of God and Goddess. Yes, they worship uh, the one that they, they have they do in their favor. Okay, can you see that the two small places? Mm -hmm. uh, you need to turn off, or oh, that's okay. Not in it or what? Yeah. Okay. That's better. Mm -hmm. I don't want the black you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, right? That's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um Okay, so um in, and like in every tradition, uh, they have some kind of icon too. So some, some of them are using icon, uh, other DJs. Okay, so here. Okay, so uh, we have a judge of Hindu gods and goddess. In Hinduism, they have the Hindu trinity, the Brahma, uh, the Vishnu, and the Shiva. The Brahma, Brahma is uh, the creator, they believe that Brahma creates everything. And the Vishnu, the preserver, the, the preserver. Um, and the Shiva down here is a destroyer, destroyer or transformer. Um, so this is the, um, hmm, the, the picture is, is
How can we go over here? Move your mouse. Oh, uh, you're, talking, you're trying to drag the page over? Yeah. Okay. I assume those click and drag is the good point. Oh, no, no, I get the one to touch on that. Oh, I'm sorry. So you turn to the right? Uh, you have to go to the right. Oh, off this page to the left of this one because they're reversed. Anyway, so uh, you can go down here. Now, um, so they, so the rulers of the gods and goddess they worship, they cause the one that they worship as the supreme beings. Like in Christian uh, Catholic traditions, where we pray, we uh, believe uh, Jesus Christ as a supreme, supreme being, right? Uh, but in this case, this is similar. And according to the philosopher Sankara, he calls the uh, Brahman, you know, remember Brahman, the one that um, created everything, is, uh, and the Atma, remember Atma? Atma is the self, the, the personal self. Uh, identical to the other the philosopher, they consider it's differently. Um, and here, uh, they consider the supreme beings as the Gura, the Gura, with the attribute or as the Gura, with attribute. That means they have the power, uh, feature, and characteristics as Vishnu. Um, uh, the all pervasive as Shiva, the aspect one as Shakti, Adishi, Duga, Kali, and so forth. So, um, these are the supreme beings, supreme beings that they consider, that they worship to. Um, and remember, they worship either God or Goddess, say a male or female uh, divine. <coughs> um, oh, you go back. Here, like uh, you see here, Shiva, Shiva and Para, Parvati. So they be, they believe, uh, they worship either one or both. Um, Shiva, the god, or the Parvati, the goddess. Um, so depend upon the needs of, uh, of each individual. And in, in this side, on this side, here we have the female aspect, female aspect of the divine, like um, um, this one, Abati. Abati. There's another, um, another transformation or another names of uh, this kind of female goddess is Lasmi. Um, the goddess of wealth and prosperity. So if people, let's say the business people, if they want to do business, they would need to pray for this goddess. Um, so it's like they go to super, like they go to a supermarket, right? Pick up the one that you, you like the best. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, So these are the uh, uh, the goddess as Kali, as Kali the dark and goddess when garlands with necklace of school, um, as Durga the most popular warrior, uh, goddess riding on the tigers or elephants, uh, they carry the weapons to be ready to assist the warriors. So this some if the god a goddess holds something, this is just. This is a way, a symbolic way of, um, uh, of uh, explanation that uh, like carry the weapons to protect the bodies, or uh, the way that uh, the god, the death goddess, uh, 
the way they cook their hand out, this is like the way that they bestow money to the, the devotees. So this is the symbolic way of explanations. Like um, that last week, right here, on the other side, that provide wealth of good fortune, uh, the mother of all creation, based of wisdom and salvation, um, and instrumental in granting liberation from birth and death and so forth, depending upon the need of uh, each uh, individual, or uh, in an inseparable concept of Vishnu. You see here, let's go pair by pair. Vishnu, Lasmi, you see that? And Shiva go with Parvati. So let's go pair by pair. But depend. Some of them, they may worship both of them. Some, some of them may worship one. So and kind of on their needs. Mm. Okay. Um, and of course, besides many times in Hindu goddesses or God, hundreds of regional ones, hundreds of, of local deities that they, they could uh, worship too. And uh, some communities may offer animal sacrifice to the local goddesses or Kali. When they went to India in 1998, I lived um, in uh, Dharamsala, that is the headquarter of uh, Dalai Lama uh, and the land, one of the largest uh, abandoned settlement. Uh, I saw um, some uh, Hindu people, they led a, a ship going to the Kali temple to sacrifice, to kill, to, to make offering to the, the goddess Kali. It's still, a, it's still a practice nowadays. So be prepared when you go to India. You see all kinds of strengths on the street too. My yeah. friend went to Nepal and said he saw all kinds, of, he said he just saw like all kinds of different religions. He said mm -hmm. he saw, you know, the Buddhist monks. Mm -hmm. and he said he saw the Hindus. He said it was just really neat. Because just depending on what village you were in, it all was just so different. Yeah. You know, I, I saw it twice. Uh, you know, uh, this in this course I don't cover this this tradition. You know, Chan Chan tradition. You you may not know. Mm -hmm. This course I don't cover this because it's not much important. You know, I saw twice that they walk on the street without any clothes. And it's normal even here. You may be surprised. <laughs> Of course, well, yeah, I, 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 I am so surprised not to give in. But second half, it's okay. <laughs> uh, wow, mostly male follow these traditions. I noticed some female too. I don't know whether they disclose. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, beside Vishnu, Shiva, or Goddess, we have what they call the elephants. Um, Ganesha, uh, son of Parvati, also called as the Vinesh Vara, he overcome all obstacles. So, 
and another, another okay, yeah. Bururan, I set up Shiva. Shiva is the god. And they believe that this is when they send up Shiva. They got up a board uh, behind this, this god sit on the Apika. Uh, this popular is this god uh, is very popular in Tango era in the south of some part of India. Um, so, um, like here, this is like the last me hands point to the ground, giving well to her devotees, but a shower of gold coins. That's why they worship um, this goddess. And all the hands may be held upright, representing her protection to the devotees. Many deities have seven hands. You see this? They um, are uh, carrying uh, weapons of flowers. Uh, because this is the way that's represent uh, this God a lot that protect the devotees, protect the, the, the followers. Okay, here you see that the goddess uh, Kali uh, step on, uh, she wear the garden of, of school uh, and step on the, I think, animals. Uh, Krishna uh, is the eighth uh, incarnation of Vishnu. Vishnu has, let me go back. Again, you know, some Hindus expect the numerous arms of the deity as service in the omnipotence, um, the all power uh, gods. Uh, most deity associate with one or many animals or some kind of flowers, a lot of flowers. This is, this is they are just simple. And many deity have a specific function. A Hindu may worship one uh, one god or goddess to achieve success in career acute illness and so forth, uh, beliefs of the deities uh, may perceive him or her as supreme, supreme that I just mentioned. As long as they worship one, either God or goddess or God, they consider that particular um, God or goddess as their own supreme, supreme beings. Um, so, and uh, some early writers express a divine trinity Brahma, uh, Vishnu, and Shiva. I just said that Brahma is the greater, uh, Vishnu is the preserver, and Shiva is the destroyer. Mm -hmm. But um, it can be changed.